Hey, how are you guys and welcome to the video. So today we'll be making a little video on a topic that we've been asked many, many times in our Discord, basically how to load and hook up trailers in SnowRunner. So we've got a new trailer in here. This is part of the GGMS trailer pack. I'll put links below to mod.io with the names of the trailer packs as well. So you can use these if you want to. For this demonstration today, I've got two 79 series, the dual cabs made by Phantom. So we've got one back here. You can see obviously the Yeet Burger Grill on there as well, which is so cool. This truck is doing so well. Number two on trending as we make this video, which is awesome with the dog in the back as well. The detail on this mod is awesome. Absolutely awesome. So today, this short little video, I'm going to get straight to the point. I'm going to show you how to load the 79 or any car into the trailer, strap it down so it can't move or fall out and try and do it in the easiest way possible. I'm on PC, but this is capable of being done on all consoles and on PC, obviously, as well. I play with the PS5 controller, so I'll be going through the button pushing that I do to get this sorted out. So the first thing we want to do is push up. I'm in immersive mode at the moment, so I don't have these functions up on a screen normally for when I stream, but I push up to get the functions and then I want to change truck. It's going to select the other truck that's close to us. We're going to jump in there start that motor up now what i'm going to do i'm going to quickly switch into reverse slowly bring the car back just so i'm able to hook up with the trailer there hook that on with the handbrake on i want to attach trailer so that trailer is now attached now what i want to do i need to have the motor on but if you push up again, once you're hooked up to that trailer, any trailer with a ramp, whether you're in a truck, a semi-trailer or anything like that, it'll have an option for ramps if it's able to be lowered. So you can see the ramp loads down like that. And then what I want to do is I want to change trucks, change back to the truck that I'm loading up. I'm going to go into low minus just to keep things relatively uh, careful and smooth up here. And then we're slowly going to bump into that trailer nice and carefully. So we're loading up our comp truck at the moment, so to speak, up onto the trailer. Whoop, she doesn't want to pop in there. All right, I'm going to get that maneuvered in there a little bit. Oh, what are the odds of this car actually being a little bit too wide for this trailer? Give me two ticks. Let's try and maneuver that in. We'll winch her over a little bit. There we go. Popped her straight in that trailer. So normally you'd drive up there a lot easier. Now what we want to do, the most important step is we want to stop the engine on the car that is in the trailer. So we need to stop that motor, then change truck. And then we can access pack trucks and trailer. So you can see on the bottom left there, car under cargo, we've got pack trucks and trailer. Now, if you watch closely on uh, the car in the trailer, when I click pack trucks and trailers, you see those wheels lock in and that is loaded and that can't go anywhere. Now I can pop those ramps up. There we go. The ramps are all popped up. You'll see these little ramps either side of the wheels. That means that the car and the cargo is loaded into the trailer and can't move. So all four corners are all locked in. We're a little, <laughs> we're a little bit saggy on the back, I'll be honest, but that will allow us now to take that for a drive and that is loaded in and can't move out of that trailer until you get it on a big angle and then it may fall out. But for the most part, that is all perfectly in there, loaded up, ready to go. Cool. Well, I hope that helps guys. I hope that helps you load your stuff onto trailers. That is the same story for all trailers. You do need to turn the car off that is in the trailer that you're trying to pack and then switch to the tow car. And then you should be able to pack that car into the trailer and put up the ramp and drive off without any troubles. Easy guys. Jump in our discord, discord.gg forward slash yeet crew. If you want to get involved in some of the snow runner topics that we have in the discord we've got almost a thousand people in there now which is coming along nicely we do also stream daily on tiktok all the links for the trailers and the trucks i'm using will be below as well as our discord as well easy guys thank you for watching hope that helps